Hello guys, in this new video we will see how to create frames and buttons inside our app, and make actions of the buttons, widgets that belong together or create a specific functionality together, should be placed in a frame. The big advantage is, that you can easily move the frames within the app window, because you don't need to change the positions of all the widgets inside the frame. Let's get started. This is our code from the last tutorial, to add a frame inside the window. Put a name of the frame, custom tkinter.ctk frame. Inside the function we put the master name of this frame, the master here means container. So, the master name of our application is app. If we run the code, the frame will not appear. It is because we did not specify the positioning method. There are three general geometry managers for standard widgets provided in tkinter. Grid, pack and place. The grid geometry manager puts the widgets in a two-dimensional table. The master widget is split into a number of rows and columns, and each cell in the resulting table can hold a widget. The grid manager is the most flexible of the geometry managers in tkinter. The pack geometry manager packs widgets relative to the earlier widget. tkinter literally packs all the widgets one after the other in a window. We can use options like fill, expand, and side to control this geometry manager. Compared to the grid manager, the pack manager is somewhat limited, but it's much easier to use in a few. The place geometry manager is the simplest of the three general geometry managers provided in tkinter. It allows you explicitly set the position and size of a window. You can access the place manager through the place method which is available for all standard widgets. It is usually not a good idea to use place for ordinary window, it's simply too much work to get things working as they should. Use the pack or grid managers for such purposes. In our case we will treat all these three general geometry managers by the time, so don't forget to complete the videos. Now, to display the frame I'm going to use pack manager. Put the frame name to control. Pack. Now let's run the code. As you can see the frame has appeared. Before using the pack arguments to control the position, first we need to see the frame arguments. For the frame arguments, we have master means the container, or the top level. In case you want create your frame in your window application, put the name of your application in master. Width and height of the frame in pixel. Width of border in pixel. Corner radius in pixel. Foreground color and border color. White, black, gray, red, green, blue, purple, orange, yellow. Pink, brown, you can put any color dark or light. Or open the website htmlcolorcodes.com and copy your hex color code. Now let's create a 600 to 400 window app non resizable in width and four frames inside the app using pack manager with different foreground colors like this. First we need to create a 600 to 400 window app. The tutorial is in the last video. Now create four frames. Change the foreground color. Use Pack Manager to pack the frames.
As you can see we have 4 frames in the app window, but all of them packed with the top side by default. To obtain the same position like the example we need to use the site argument. We have 4 options in the site argument, top, bottom, left and right. We have 2 options in the expand argument, true or false. For the fill argument we have, fill by x axis or y axis or both. And, we said that the pack geometry manager packs widgets relative to the earlier widget. Before starting using site option we need to create two frames, and pack them by the top side to help us split the app into two sides. Make the expand option true and fill option in the both sides x and y. Inside each one of them we pack toe frames of the last four frames by the left or the right side. Expand true and fill both sides. Let's get started. Create two frames with different colors. Use Pack Manager and pack them by the top side. Make Fill Both and Expand True for both of them. As you can see, we divided the window to two frames. Let's pack our last four frames inside those two frames. Change the master of frame 1 and frame 2 to top frame. Change the master of frame 3 and frame 4 to bottom frame. Change the pack side to the left. Make those four frames fill both, and expand true. As you can see this is our application. You can make it resizable in width and height. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. See you next video.